here's the Aussies. Kenrick will swim second. Ned McKendry will swim third. And Ryan Napoleon will bring them home. Yes, yes, I saw, uh, I saw, got to see Jake at the uh, team, um, team re reception on the first, uh, probably like two days out of the competition, but he's staying, um, he's staying in the rowing village, um, like an hour and a half from here, but I'll get, I'll get, I'll get to see him compete on Tuesday. Yeah, so it's been good seeing him. Yeah, no, nah, just because the rowing, I think just because the uh, competition, like where they're racing is, is so far away, so they're staying kind of close to it, I guess. Every other sport is in here. And like, so Australia has their own block. Um, and like, Australia's got their own block, and France has their own block, and Russia, then that's just massive. Like, it's, it's enormous. Like, I look at my balcony and I can't see the end of it. Um, Oh, it's just, it, it's totally different because it's a, it's a village, like, it's never been, it's not hotels, no one's ever lived in it before, it's an actual little village, like, it's the food halls, three footy fields big, with any type of food you walk in, it's, you got British food, you got African, American, Asian, Indian, free Maccas, um, all free, like, you don't, I don't touch my wallet, um, so it's, it is kind of your own village, like, and, then, and then there's a games room, and there's, um, like heaps of grass, like there's like it's kind of parks within within the village, like it's massive. I'm with Darcy. Yeah, yeah. So there's um, see, there's probably six to an, well, we've got six in our apartment, and then I'm room with Darcy, and then we've got Danny Arnamart and James Mangston in another room, and then we've got Tommy Fraser Holmes and Ryan Napoleon. In another room. Oh, Darcy snores. <laughs> um, but no, nah, not not too bad. So it's fine. But that's about it. Um, it's all been pretty good. We're all uh, actually finished by Maggie. So we've just got to cheer him from cheer him, him on for the next three days. And he's got the fifty today. Four by, four by one. I am so. Um, oh, there's a, there's a few things. The food hall's pretty incredible. Like, I've never seen anything like it. Like, you can get whatever you want, whenever you want. Like, the drinks, you, any type of, like, Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, Fanta, Powerade. It's all there, just in big fridges. Um, and I think also, like, I've been seeing Djokovic and Songer and, like, Murray and there. They're huge international sports stars, but they're walking around like they're just one of us. Like everyone's kind of the same. We're all just athletes competing. Oh, Federer, Federer was in here the other night, and a few of the coaches got to meet him. But I'm not too sure he's staying on. Is he is too he's too big time. But Djokovic, I think everyone has the same respect for it. Uh, everyone like you don't really you're walking around, you don't know what sport they do, but you know they're going to be pretty talented. So I think everyone just respects each other. Out of that, is we we can compete at this level. So um, no one's really like you know those big time stars, but they're just like you. They're just competing for their country. Um, seeing that four by one free on the first night, girls win the gold is pretty special. Um, is that quite my Close friend Brittany Elmsley was in it. She's only 18 years old, so she's got a gold medal, Olympic gold medal on the first night. Um, so that was pretty good to see. That's our first gold. That was our only gold medal of this meet so far. Um, for me, just the whole experience, because like obviously getting picked in that final. That final was one of the uh, craziest things I've ever been in. It was Jeep. It was Jeep's times two crowd. <laughs> um, so that was just awesome. Like I was just happy to be here with the boys I was with. You know, because we got trained with Ryan and Kenny, and I'm really, really good friends with Tommy as well. So it was just awesome um, to be in there with them. But I just think this is my first international team. Just learning uh, how everyone, how everyone deals, I know, deals with themselves before racing, and how everyone holds themselves. Uh, like 
there's a lot of pressure on some of the athletes in here, and they're just holding themselves like Maggie. Awesome job last night to bounce back from the disappointment of the 4 by one I think I think and like a lot of the nation was on was on Maggie, you know, like he was expected to win. Like he's from a, a forty seven five last night, probably one of the fastest times in the world, um, with one of those textile suits in. And just because he got second there's a, like people probably will be disappointed, but he's still he's finished second in the Olympics. He's done the best men's done in our um, in a single event, like a individual event this meet. Um you know, there's just people expect so much, and I think that he's come in being the fastest in the world by a clear, clear amount. People that just expect to win, and you just, yeah, I don't know. It's just once you're being here, you you realise the competition and stuff, and we just you respect them so much more. Yeah, I did get slapped by Laurie Lawrence. Um, probably like two days out of the meet, we had a, a team meeting, so um. And he's very inspirational, so he came down and gave everyone a talking to, and I was sitting, unlucky to sit in the front row and got double slapped in the face. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, Tommy and Kenny, the individual swimmers, were going to be rested. So um, it was two spots up for grab, and um, Ryan Napoleon, being very experienced, he's been on, this is, I think it's his fourth team, and... Um, Going off at of Worlds last year, he swam at 146 there, so I think he was um, pretty well, uh, definite as well, just because he's so experienced and we know he could perform. So it was pretty much the fastest um, time out of me, uh, Cammy McAvoy and Dave McKeon was going to get through. And uh, I split a 147.5, Cammy split a 147.8, and Dave was a 148.2 off the gun. So we're all pretty similar. But I was just lucky enough to get through. I was just pretty, yeah, you kind of have to expect anything. He was saying um, you could be going in ahead, you could be going in behind. The key is not to panic because um, a lot of people seem to panic and they, they go out too hard. If, they, if you're behind by five minutes, the first thoughts are going to catch and see you so start sprinting and you're going to die in that back end. So it's just kind of a uh, keep relaxing that first hundred and then see what you got coming home. I think he was just pretty proud, you know. Um, my first international uh, race, at, like final at that at this level, um, and I had Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps two lanes over. Like it was such an experience. Uh, I think he was just proud I, that I held my own and didn't um, didn't cave to the, I know to the nerves or to the experience. Uh, yeah, I got to see them after a race. I reckon he was more nervous than me. Um, before, they were saying he couldn't speak, but um, no, it was really good. Like, a whole family came over. I think, yeah, they were pretty proud. So it's good. Uh, usually, I just I came home. I spoke to mum and dad for a bit. Um, and I spoke to, I think, spoke to a few of my friends back home just because they were soaked and they uh, were watching. So, and then I um, kind of shut off and turned my phone off, had a um, sleep for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then um, watched a movie, you know, anything to keep the mind off it. Watched, played some cars out here with the rest of the 4x2 boys. So we went on until 9 o'clock, so I was just trying to keep, uh, like, rest, but keep my mind off the race. <laughs> no, I didn't. But some <laughs> some people like to uh, use ice baths, and um, like there's 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 an awesome massage and physio team on the on the team. So I just got a flush after my race. But a lot of people like to get an ice bath and then get a flush or something like that. But um, yeah, there's I haven't been in there actually, but apparently there's a few ice baths, and probably food and all that. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think I'll just follow the older boys. They've all been here and done it before, but I think it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty exciting time um, in that second week, you know, because we get to see other sports and uh, celebrate what we've done.
definitely, I want to see the, the track. I want to see Sally Pearson um, try and take out that 100 metre hurdles. I would love to see Usain Bolt. We got to see, uh, we we're lucky enough to see the Dream Team play in our staging camp in Manchester. So that was uh, pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, obviously I'll see Jakey Donaghy next week. Um, I wouldn't mind actually catching some ping pong. <laughs> yeah, this is a six foot one. Um, so, I don't know. Um, you know, you don't. I think before I was putting, I used to put a lot of pressure on myself. Uh, like unneeded un 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 pressure, you know, like, um, but I came in here that I can, uh, that I, can, I can deal with these situations a lot better than I thought I could. Um, I probably have, well, I'm not too sure, but whatever I need to be ready to get back in, I, I have to want to come back and train, I have to be fresh, probably six to eight weeks maybe. Yeah, so no, I'm excited to do it, just not to, um, I think I might have to head over to Bali for a bit, uh, but yeah, just excited not to, uh, not to swim for a bit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think we're all, all the boys in the Relay team, um, besides Kenny Monk, were, are definitely keen to um, move on to 2016 and try and build on what we've done here because we're such a young team. There's, um, it's Ryan's only 20, 22, Tommy's 20, I'm 20, um, Cammy McAvoy was only 18 and Dave McKean's only 20 and they were in the heat swim. So it's a young team and we try and build on what we've done here in Toria. Right, Thanks, Matty. Take it easy.